bait I'm going to show you is going to be a floated chocker bait. So it's going to be a bait that's got movement, it's going to have the good looks, and it's going to have vibration and smell. I've shaped that, that, that foam. You can see the way I split the chocker. I cut it down the back and lengthwise. So um, this one's a little bit frozen, but on the one side you've got all the guts and the smelly bits. And this is the fleshy part we're going to use for tentacles and the main body of the bait. Alright, what we do is we, we clean this uh, off, take all the skin off the chocker. We want that nice, white, exposed meat. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is going to tie the foam to a hook. Make sure it's tied on very nice and firm because this, this holds your bait together as well. When fishing for cob, um, I'm talking about the, the shoal size cob between 2 and 5 six kilos I prefer to use a five six oh type of hook uh, the one I'm using here uh, one of my favorites the Gamagatsu soy ring six oh sharp hook thin lightweight and uh, very strong first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna build the tentacles for this bait those tentacles they they there to cause a vibration and give that bait that lively look in the water okay you determine the length of the bait you want you don't want it too long so that's the length of the bait I want, put that aside, shape it nicely, there's those tentacles, take a chock hammer, smash this back end. The reason we, we smash this chocker, two reasons, firstly to soften it up and secondly it, it, it breaks that, that chocker up in pieces, so it's gonna, it's gonna cause a chum line as soon as you cast the bait, those small pieces of chocolate and start dispersing, and uh, it's gonna call those fish from a long way to smell the nice chocker. As you can see, there's a base of the bait, tentacles, and rear really smelly bit. The other piece of that long strip I cut, I'm gonna smash it up now, and I'm gonna add it to the back of this bait, also for that flavor it gives off in the water. Gotta emphasize you can never smash chocker enough. The more you smash it, the more it chums the water and the more it smells. So it's literally gotta be gotta eat all that flavor out of it. Take that smash piece. Always tie off your cotton after you made your bait so it doesn't wrap off. Just make a little loop, tie it on three times, and break it off. Guys, that's a very, very simple bait. Um, very effective. You've got the flotation in the water. It's got the squid look, it looks like a little squid in the water. Those little two tentacles will vibrate in the water, so it's good with the vibration. It throws well, it can throw it far, and uh, obviously that smell of that chocker that we beat up on that. Right, so that's my first little copy bait. Very, very effective, simple bait. Um, I would, if I had to throw this bait, I'd normally fish on a sandbank, a working sandbank with a lot of white water churning, and uh, this little chocker squid bait will sit in that white water, moving, vibrating, and the cob cannot resist it. Yeah.